A long, long time ago, when the world was young and the tiger walked with the deer, there was a very rich king who had four wives. But one day, the king fell ill, and the truth dawned that his life was soon to end. He thought of the beautiful life he had led and feared being alone when he died. The king loved his fourth wife the most and adorned her with golden rings and jewelry. So he went to her, he asked his fourth wife, I have loved you the most, endowed you with the finest clothing, showered gifts upon gifts upon you, and taken great care over you. Now I'm dying. Will you follow me and keep me company? No way, she replied and walked away without another word. And the king also loved his third wife and was always showing her off to neighboring kingdoms. However, he always feared that she would leave him or could be taken away from him. So the sad king went to his third wife and asked her, I have loved you all my life. Now I'm dying. Will you follow me and keep me company? No, she replied. Life is too good. When you die, I'm going to remarry. His second wife was kind and considerate, and always his trusted confidant and advisor in difficult times. So the king walked to his second wife and asked her, I have always turned to you for help, and you have always been there for me. When I die, will you follow me and keep me company? I'm sorry. I can't help you out this time, she replied, but I will help you with your funeral and do all the arrangements. Suddenly a voice called out the king in his sadness. I'll leave with you and follow you no matter where you go. The king looked up and there he saw his first wife. He had always taken her for granted and never really cared about her. And now that he looked her in her eyes, she was so skinny and undernourished. He felt ashamed, and he said, I always knew it, and I should have taken much better care of you when I had the chance. The truth is, this story is not about a king who has four wives. It's about you and me and everyone, because we all have four wives. Our fourth wife, that's our body, and no matter how much time and effort we lavish in making it look good, it will leave us when we die. It will be burned or buried or... Our third wife, that's our positions and our wealth, the things that we own, material things. And when we die, it will go to others. It will be divided up. And that's why the king was always afraid that she would leave him or could be taken away from him. And that's why she says in the story, that she will remarry once he's gone. Our second wife, that's our family, our friends, the people that love us. No matter how much they have supported and loved us all our life, the furthest they can stay by us is up to the grave. They can't come with us that last step. Even if they want to, it's not possible. And that's why a second wife says in the story that she will take care of the funeral and all the arrangements, but that she can't help him out this time. Our first wife, that's our soul. She's our first wife. We always had her from the beginning. And that's why we often neglect her, because she was given to us for free, and things that come for free, you neglect, you don't take care of them anymore. But our soul will always be with us. Even when we die, it will follow us to the next step, which we don't know what it is. But the soul will be with us forever. That's why even though she was neglected in the story, the first wife screams and says, King, I will follow you no matter where you go. And so the moral of the story is that you should care for your body and keep it healthy so you can live life to its fullest. It's good to be healthy, have a healthy body and enjoy your possessions, the pleasures and the comfort that they provide. The material things, we all want to enjoy material things in life. 
and also cherish your friends and family and the love they provide. But never forget your soul. Never forget to take care of your soul because you and your soul are bound together for eternity. And your soul will prove to be your most faithful friend. Whoever you are and wherever you are in the world right now, I wish you all the best. And thanks for watching. Stay blessed.